So we start with the big news that's likely to dominate the headlines all this week. On Tuesday, high-level officials from the two Koreas will come face-to-face -face for their first inter-Korean talks in more than two years. And ahead of the talks, Pyongyang confirmed on Sunday its list of delegates who will represent the Kim Jong-un regime. Our Kim Min-ji starts us off. North Korea has finalized its list of officials who will participate in rare talks with South Korea scheduled for Tuesday. On Sunday, Pyongyang said its five-member delegation will be headed by Lee Sun-gwan, chairman of the Committee for the Peaceful Reunification of the Fatherland. Lee is known as an experienced point man on inter-Korean affairs, having led the North's delegations to various cross-border talks. The North's delegation also includes Chun jong su the vice chair of the Reunification Committee, as well as Vice Sports Minister Won Gid u Pyongyang's notification comes a day after South Korea confirmed its five-member delegation that will be led by Unification Minister Cho myung yun Also on the South Korean delegation are Vice Minister of Unification Chun hae sung and Second Vice Minister of Sports Do tae -gang. The two sides will meet on Tuesday at the Peace House in the Truce Village of Panmunjom on the South Korean side of the border. Topping the agenda will be Pyongyang's participation in next month's Winter Olympics in South Korea. And if circumstances allow, Seoul also hopes to talk about ways to improve inter-Korean relations. The diplomatic breakthrough comes after a New Year's speech by North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, in which he said Pyongyang could dispatch a team to the Olympics. Soon after, Seoul extended an offer of talks, and last week a hotline between the two Koreas was restored after being shut down for almost two years. South Korea hopes that the upcoming talks will lead to a thaw in relations that have started following a string of nuclear missile tests and can be the starting point of resuming cross-border cooperation. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.